Good afternoon, Rock Church. Happy Wednesday. It's time for the midweek update. And Merry Christmas to everybody out there. Uh, it's been a fantastic week. I know it's been a little wet this week, but you know what? God is good and he's blessing us anyway. So uh, let's get on with those announcements. Starting tonight, uh, uh, we are back in our uh, study tonight, our Bible study on Radical with David Platt. Uh, tonight, we're going to be talking about vision. Uh, we're going to be talking about what that vision looks like and how, as followers of Christ, what are we supposed to be doing, uh, to, basically, as the result of the fruit of our salvation. What are we supposed to be doing out there in our world, and our culture? So come on, tune in tonight. Come on out tonight and get involved in this Bible study and find out because uh, it is going to be very eye-opening and it's going to be... And I'm going, to, and I'm going to tell you, it's going to challenge you. So uh, come on out or tune in tonight and check it out. Seven o'clock uh, right here at the Rock Church. Okay. Next thing up, this Saturday is the evening of respite for foster and adoptive families. Um, church, please just spread the word on that. I think we got plenty of help now. So I really appreciate you guys stepping up. Uh, really wanting to offer your, offer your assistance uh, with the... Uh, even the respite, but I think we're, we got everybody that we need now. So pre really appreciate that. Uh, we are still going to be in needs of those five dollar uh, gifts, uh, boy girl gifts, uh, for Saturday evening. I don't have the exact number as far as how many kids are going to have, uh, but I know we're still going to need those gifts. So uh, if you are able to pick up a couple of those and get them dropped off here before uh, Saturday, please do or reach out and let me and Shannon know. Uh, that you are picking up some, and that way we can get those included in our count uh, once we get a we get a count figured out on how many kids we'll have Saturday evening. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, we're expecting a visit from old uh, the jolly old fella himself uh, that evening, so it's going to be a great evening. So foster and adoptive families, please, please uh, make sure you RSVP to the church, or you can send us a private message on Facebook. Or uh, you can um, send it to contact at godrocksking.com. That's our email address. That's contact at godrocksking.com. All right. And then Sunday morning, uh, of course, our brother Jim uh, is going to be bringing the message Sunday morning. We are looking forward to that. Uh, we are, of course, instilling our series on the wonder of Christmas. Jesus, our Savior, is born and he's here. As we learned last week, Jesus is that, is that good shepherd that we have been needing. And this week, we're going to find out about the joy, the joy that Jesus brings us. So come on out Sunday morning. If you have not visited the Rock Church, this is a perfect time of year right here at Christmas time to come check us out. I promise you, you're going to be blessed. And come on out and just see what God is doing right here at this church and experience the wonder of Christmas right here with us at the Rock Church here in King, North Carolina. Okay, and then... Uh, Sunday evening, uh, Big House Youth. This is for you guys. We've got our Christmas party starting at four o'clock. Runs from four to seven. Uh, as we told you uh, last time, y'all voted to play Dirty Santa. Santa. And uh, so we need each, each youth to bring a $5 wrapped gift. And it needs to be gender neutral. It could be a boy, for, boy or a girl because we're gonna play the Dirty Santa game. Y'all know how that goes in a big circle. and. We have a lot of fun with it, and you end up getting something you want or may not want. So either way, it's fun, and uh, we have a good time uh, doing it. So please, y'all come on out. Uh, if you got a friend, tell them about it. Invite them. Bring them with you. Uh, we're going to feed them. Moms and dads, I am needing help. Uh, cause what we wanted to do is be able to have some of y'all bring out, uh, basically for a Christmas party, bring out finger foods and different things like that they can eat. So please, I need your help with that. I know I've had one or two of you that's already told me y'all are willing to help with that. That's awesome, but uh, we still need some more uh, to help uh, feed these uh, kids, feed the youth on Sunday evening. And like I said, Christmas party, 4 to 7 p.m., and this will pretty much wrap up the youth uh, for the rest of 2022, and then we'll jump back in things in January of 2023. Okay, and uh, Monday night prayer night, 6 p.m., 6 to 8 p.m., right here at the Rock Church. Uh, that, like I said, there's nothing structured with that. Just come on out. Uh, it's just time for you to spend with spend with God because 
Prayer needs to be really important in our lives. And granted, yes, we can pray anywhere, but we have got a beautiful building here, a beautiful sanctuary, beautiful prayer room. And, you know, we need to, we want to utilize that. We want you to come out and utilize it too. And just, you know, spend time, that alone time with between you and God and just seeking him and meditating on him and his scriptures and just, you know, spending time in his presence. So Monday nights, we offer that every week, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m., uh, like I said, nothing structured there. You're invited to come out and you can spend 15 minutes the whole two hours, whatever you feel led to do. That's between you and the Lord. All right. And the other thing too, I want to say, a mo I just want to take a moment and thank every one of you for uh, your participating with the Angel Tree this year with the Salvation Army. Uh, we had a great turnout with that. Uh, those uh, gifts, of course, have already been delivered down into Winston-Salem. So uh, th th those children, I just, you know, it's like I told somebody uh, uh, Tuesday when we delivered those, I, I can just, you know, just, just thinking about the smiles on the children's faces and the giggles and the laughter, it's just, it, it brings a warm feeling to my heart. And church, thank you so much for stepping up. And those of you that I think outside the church have helped with that too, thank you so much for your help and uh, helping adopt these children for Christmas because I know you're going to be blessed and those children, of course, God's using you to bless those children. Church, you have a great afternoon. Merry Christmas. I'm praying for you and I love you.